You said out your own mouth. After y'all beat Lomachenko, who was going to be your biggest fight? You said it was Devin Haney, right? No, listen to me. You but said it's that. Not, it's not. A few moments later. Oh, you're wearing the hat. Now, Sir, no, Sir Damas. Pick one fight. What is the mega fight in the sport? Teofimo Lopez versus who? In a couple of years or next year. I feel that you got to. The only way you're relevant is through me. I don't even know. Devin Haney? I can say Devin Haney. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All I gotta say is, man, we ready for Gambosis. His opponent. Oh, what a right hand from George Gambosis, and the takeover went down. One, Josh Taylor. That's what we want. They're running about and saying I'm running from him and scared of him. I'm scared of no one. Yeah, the guy's a clown. And I got nothing against top rank or, or whoever is there or the executives or the vice president or the president. I don't got nothing against them. I just want my money, uh, my, my son to make the money that he deserves, you know, because you could die in the ring. Man. Fight fans, he said it right the first time. He just wants his money. I mean, his son's money, right? No, he means his money because he's living vicariously through the son. Every he's doing more interviews, he's on more social media platforms than the son ever was. No matter how a loss comes, once it's read out and it's official, and your son comes back to the corner. What's the first thing you say to him? It doesn't matter what I'm gonna say to him. I think he did a great job tonight. Um, every round, I was happy. I was motivating him, and 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 I would go inside. And I would say, Yo, you got that one. You got that one. You got that one. Lopez win. You know what his fight plan looked like? I'm going to go in there and knock him out. I'm going to go home. Oh, you didn't think that the dad had a good plan in between rounds when he was uh -huh. telling him, what the F are you doing? Get him out of there. Stop this. Get like, what? what? I'm thinking this guy's in a firefight and you're telling him, get him out of there. I've been no. trying for the last 10 rounds and, lying and I'm losing. To him. And lying it's to him saying you slipped. I slipped on the right hand. <laughs> But it wasn't a banana peel. And listen, he, I mean, you think the fight is stupid? You, you think he's sitting there, he's not, he's saying, I slipped? I, uh, my jaw don't feel like I slipped. I mean, he, these, uh, these birds woman in my head, before, you know, 10 minutes ago, you know? <laughs> they were not tweeting, insanity. there was no tweet, 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 tweet. Yeah, you know, uh, they weren't in my head before. So, look. The father, when, to touch on what you just said, Ken, to take it a tiny bit further, you're so right. But w the father in the corner, if my memory serves me right, first he tells, you know, he goes, you tripped. Then he tells him, he tells him, you got to take it easy. Relax, step back, take it easy, slow down. And then he tells him, get this guy out of here. <laughs> a <laughs> little a contradictory, maniac. just a little contradictory. Webster's would say, that's a contradiction. It was like, to me, he won unanimous, but you can put it at 10, 2, 9, 3, you know, because of the knockdown. And, and, and he just, he just slipped. It was like a, it was like a flash knockdown, you know what I'm saying? Slipped on the right hand, <laughs> but it wasn't a banana peel. But um, there's no way this kid beat us, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to move on to better things, better, bigger fights, you know? And this is not going to stain my son. It's going to stain him because now we can't say we're better than Floyd Mayweather because now Floyd's going to say, we got that. You know what I'm saying? We got that loss. And then, um... Yo, did this motherfucker say they not going to be able to say they better than Floyd Mayweather now? Oh, my God. Let's just continue. Fuck me. And listen, it doesn't really matter. He's the people's champ. Everybody's going to fill out the arenas for him, you know? And that's all I, that's all I'm concerned about, you know. Uh, the people know who won that tonight, and it doesn't matter what the judges said. We won tonight. And lastly, do you think there was any adjustments he could have made during the fight? It looked like he came out very aggressive. Maybe he could have uh, gotten Camboza out of there early, and then he got caught and knocked down. What adjustments, looking in hindsight, do you think he could have made? That was a flash knockdown. Everybody knows that. He just stepped in with the wrong foot and went down. He come, came, came back up. He was never hurt. He talked to me. He goes, Dad, I was never hurt. You know, I, I, I took the fight. It, it was an easy fight for him, and um, he won every round. To me, he won every round. You know, it, you can give Kambosis two rounds. Okay, yes. Three rounds. Okay, yes. Even four rounds. So he didn't win every round, you delusional piece of shit. But 
come on, man. You know, it's it's uh, what happened to us was just horrible, horrible. I could not believe it. What was the number one lesson you learned tonight? Number one lesson is don't fuck with the industry because the industry could hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Um, I told him a lot, yo. You know, from now on, we're just going to stay quiet and not mention no names. You know, we're just going to keep on doing what we're doing. My son is still the best in the planet. And, and I told everybody, you know what I'm saying? We didn't get knocked out. We didn't get hurt. He was never hurt in the fight. You know, we brought it back to this guy and everybody knows, even the Madison Square, Madison Square Garden was booing this shit, bro. Come on, man, you know? Well, <clears throat> everybody ringside, I think, saw that your son put forward a great effort. I don't think that no, anybody no, could like even, no. nobody could even. It was not no freaking effort, man. We won every round, man. Come on. You know, uh, I'll give him probably two rounds because of the knockdown. You know, and and the flash knocked down. But um, you know, I know what my son has, and I taught him. I taught him to win every round by touching every two seconds. Every two seconds, he was touching them. There's no way in the point system this guy won a freaking round. You know? Delusional disorder is a mental illness in which the patient presents with delusions, but with no accompanying prominent hallucinations. Thought disorder mood disorder, or significant flattening of affect. Delusions are a specific symptom of psychosis. Delusions can be bizarre or non-bizarre in content. Non-bizarre delusions are fixed false beliefs that involve situations that could potentially occur in real life. Examples include being followed or poisoned. Apart from their delusions, People with delusional disorder may continue to socialize and function in a normal manner, and their behavior does not generally seem odd or bizarre. However, the preoccupation with delusional ideas can be disruptive to their overall lives. And you know, all I'm saying is, fight fans, don't get caught in the delusions of this man's fucking fizzled out crack pipe, because clearly, this dude knows shit about the business side of the sport. He's a fucking goofball. Listen to this delusional cornflake, you know, considering the fact that they beat Lomachenko, they feel as though, you know, these guys could sell two million pay-per-views, you know, they're going to sell out arenas, the sons of people champ, etc., etc. You know, the work starts now, and clearly, you know, you've been smoking too much crack, drinking too many brews because, you know, you are completely delusional and just all the way out of pocket when it comes to the business of boxing. As a trainer and a father, it's always tough to watch your son take a loss, especially his first loss. Uh, how did you feel in the corner when that decision was read, a split decision for Kemboza? I beat him. I controlled the fight. He was missing. I hit him clean more times. I beat him. Man, listen, man. You saw me in every round, jumping up and down, and telling my son, you got that. You got that. Delusional disorder is a mental illness in which the patient presents with delusions. You can't reason with someone like that. He's, he's called me a couple of times, he messaged me saying he can't believe what I did. It already sounded like yours against me. I went back to him, I said, listen, we treated you with unbelievable respect. I love Tiafimo, I love his dad, good people. But you have to move away from delusion. You saw me in every round, jumping up and down, and telling my son, you got that, you got that, you got that, you got that. You got that. You got that. What? What the fuck? Fight if you're not you're not staying busy. My son was touching him every foot, every second. A few moments later. Power punches through round eight. 95 landed for Cambosis Jr. compared to 69 for Lopez. That is stunning, Sergio. It's so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. It's just the way it is, man. You know what I'm saying? He he was coming up too fast, too strong. Um, you know, uh, making a lot of noise and, um, and, and things happen, you know what I'm saying? Things happen. Tiger. He's a people's champ, so we're going to be selling out arenas. Let me let y'all know, I want to thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. This didn't hurt us at all, man. It just made us better. Him and his pops are, are, very, are very, very delusional. His pops... It's the biggest fucking clown in the entire sport. He's gonna be on top of everybody. And there's no, you know, like Floyd says, oh, we're the A-side. No, you're not gonna be the A-side. We're gonna be the A-side because we're gonna do at least 
close to two million fucking uh, pay-per-view buys. What? What the fuck? This, this guy was on the record with saying they're doing two million buys for fighting Cambosis. Now, think about how fucking stupid that sounds. Damn, Big L, I don't even know if stupid is the proper use of words, you know what I'm saying? Like, we need to find something that supersedes that. You got, you, you, you got Canelo, the biggest fucking fighter in the sport, okay, with a, with, with a, with a, a incredible fan base. He's been doing this thing for a very, very long time. Very, very long time. You know, and his fan base has been been excellent supporters, and he should have been fighting on pay-per-view, you know, mm -hmm. but again, he has an excellent manager in Reynoso, and they're way, way smarter. They're way, way, way smarter. In my opinion, they not fucking going backwards. You know, he's seen that all this fucking money that they can make fight on pay-per-view and fight top fighters, and he'd be a damn fool to not continue to do that. Well, it sounds like he's gonna go up to Cruiserweight now. Yeah, I did. I yeah, did yeah. hear that. I Lunga did. Makabu. Yeah, the I did hear that. I wish him, could do, wish him the best. He, he's operating at the highest level, you know, since Floyd retired. But oh, by the way, really the biggest pay per view guy in the sport is Floyd Mayweather still. But he's retired because he just did a million buys in in June before he's retired in a fucking exhibition. But, but. Uh, 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 Lopez Senior, they're gonna do two million buys fighting Cambosis because they got J Lo. But with no accompanying prominent hallucinations, thought disorder, mood disorder, or significant flattening of affect, delusions are a specific symptom of psychosis. Delusions can be bizarre or non bizarre in content. Non-bizarre delusions are fixed false beliefs that involve situations that could potentially occur in real life. Examples include being followed or poisoned. Apart from their delusions, people with delusional disorder may continue to socialize and function in a normal manner and their behavior does not generally seem odd or bizarre. However, the preoccupation with delusional ideas can be disruptive to their overall lives. We have Jennifer Lopez, we have Maluma, we have J Balvin, we have uh, uh, maybe Carol G, Anuel. You know, we're still digging into getting all these performers. Hey man, say man, this motherfucker making me mad, man. He really making me mad, man. So J Lo and a whole bunch of performers that nobody gives two fucks about is supposed to move two million units in the arena based off of. Pay per view sales, etc., etc., you know, because y'all got performers. Every fucking boxer has fucking performers, and that shit don't mean nothing. What means something is how you perform inside of that ring. And nobody really knows too much about your son. His greatness was based off of a win during a pandemic. A pandemic. Delusion disorders definitely set in with this crackhead. He is genuinely making me mad. Shout out to the whole UK. This motherfucker has clearly lost the plot. And now it's just time to get verbally bitch slapped every chance he gets on Reaper Gang Radio. That's a fact. And there ain't no delusions in that. Um, when you seen that, um, that, uh, concert that, um, that, what you call it, 6ix9ine did with, uh, Lil Wayne, they brought in 15,000 people into the arena. Nigga, that's a multi-platinum selling artist. Lil Wayne literally sold fucking a million fucking albums in one fucking week. 6 9 has been the biggest fucking thing on social media for the past two years. Who the fuck is your son? You crackhead! Are you a cotton head? We'll feel sorry for you then. Get the fuck out of here! Congratulations, you played yourself. You crack here, you smoke crack? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just those two guys alone, and they might be there because they're from Miami. You know what I'm saying? And, and they fight fans. I guarantee any amount of crack rocks and pocket lint that I got that little Wayne nor 6 9 knows who the fuck this guy is, and I'm sure they got better things to do with their time than go out and watch these clowns. Stupid. You dumb nigga. And you better be lucky they weren't fucking there or Triller didn't host it because your motherfuckers ain't worth it and you got your motherfucking ass why za 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 zuck. Stupid.
You dumb nigga. Delusional bastard. They're good with Thriller. So we're gonna have a lot of celebrities that night. It's gonna be an explosive night. Uh, the tickets just came out today. Let's see what happens, you know what I'm saying? But I see this fight making a lot of money. A lot of people underestimate my son. You know, um, you know, he did four million plus, you know, ESPN uh, uh, views, yeah. you know, so we in the millions already. So take half of those guys out because of the money. We still gonna make, you know, at least more than a million, you know, that's that's why I'm that I, that's what I'm thinking about, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo, somebody please help me try to comprehend <laughs> these mathematics because, I mean, <laughs> figuratively and literally, they make no fucking sense. Like, this dude just sits back with his computer putin' on some Cambron boobity booping type shit, and he just think everything that he cashing out on his fucking fucked up ass mental cash register makes sense. No, Negro, no, just stop. What are you talking about? Stupid, you dumb nigga. People don't understand. A lot of these guys are not casuals. Everybody that watches my son are real boxing fans, you know. And um, we, you know, the, we, you have a YouTuber uh, base, you know, fan base, and and then you have the real people that watch real boxing. Right. And there's got to be more than two million people. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and the, yeah, and and, and it's only fifty nine ninety five, bro. It's it's not like it's gonna kill you you know just to watch the fight you get five six seven people man somebody get this dude a wheelchair man and some pills man this motherfucker he thinks he's speaking for the whole world of this imaginary two million paper vibes that he's speaking of talking about hey just get five dollars together you and you and you you know the fight doesn't cost that much it's just 59.95 motherfucker it's tiafimo lopez versus george cambosis let alone people don't even know your son for real for real and and now all of a sudden you just think that this is just a package deal that the whole world is going to sensationalize and spend their money on get this this motherfucker a crack pipe and a wheelchair and push his ass down a very very steep hill we'll feel sorry for you then and just listen to that motherfucker all the way down that bitch five six seven people fuck 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 you know just to get the fight on i think this is gonna be really a, a big platform Triller is not gonna invest their money not knowing what the hell they're gonna do you know, um, I think it's gonna sell out. I think it's gonna sell out, and I think we're gonna do better than the Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather bullshit. Congratulations, you played yourself. Him and his pops are, are very, are very, very delusional. His pops is the biggest fucking clown in the entire sport. But with no accompanying prominent hallucinations, thought disorder, mood disorder, or significant flattening of affect, Delusions are a specific symptom of psychosis. How did you feel in the corner when that decision was read, a split decision for Kemboza? Man, listen, man. You saw me in every round jumping up and down and telling my son, you got that. You got that. You got that. You got that. You can't win a fight if you're not you're not staying busy. My son was touching him every foot, every second. You know, it's just it's just the way it is, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he was coming up too fast, too strong, um, you know, uh, making a lot of noise. And, um, and and things happen, you know what I'm saying? Things happen, you know? But um, we're strong. We, we got the people's... He's a people's champ. So we're going to be selling out arenas. This didn't hurt us at all, man. It just made us better. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. Y'all know I beat that boy. You feel like the layoff, continuing to push the fight, nah, had anything to do with that? Nah, don't talk to me like that, man. Everybody knows he he won that he, he he won that fight. Everybody knows that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and um, I had a ten to two, nine to three. You know, everybody was just upset. They booed the they booed the decision in the Madison Square Garden. A few moments later. Hey, hell of a fighter, but I won tonight, man. Everybody know that. The referee raised my hand. I won tonight. I don't care what anybody says, yo. I won tonight. Hey, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I've been here. I've done that. I want to thank God. I want to thank everybody that came out tonight. Look, I ain't no sore loser. I take my... Yeah, you take your wins just like you take your losses. Right, like a butt hurt, delusional ass loser. Oh my God, look at that pussy. Yeah. Menstrual cycle? 
bench growth cycle? Much. If I can take my losses. At the end of the day, man, I'm a true champion. I came out here. I did what I had to do. Um, let me let y'all know. I want to thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. Y'all know I beat that boy. And I went out there and I did my best. Yo, I don't care what anybody says, man. I am as real as they come. And watch, this is the takeover, man. We don't stop, we keep coming. Yo, at the end of the I ain't worrying about it. I'm still that nigga, man. I'm on top Cincinnati. Stand up. West side. Two five. You're three, three, and one in your last seven fights. What will you do next? Hey, I'm three, three, and one in my last seven, but I'll be seven no against you. Well, that wouldn't mean much. That's the end of this interview. Good luck to you in the future. Good day, man. I love you all. I won this fight. Teofimo, you, you believe coming in that no. you were going to be able to end this fight early. You get knocked down in the first round. What was your mindset going back to the corner? He, everybody in the world knows what happened. Everybody's saying that he he won 9-3, to 10-2. to two. Hey, yo. Ryan, you did it again. I'm sorry. I got a freeze frame. You making me mad. You making Radio Raheem mad too. Look at this nigga face. He like 9, 3, 10, 2. I don't like that math. <laughs> ah, shit. That part. Stupid. You dumb nigga. You know what I'm saying? The, the whole arena saw it and it was just disgusting. You know, it was, it was, I could not believe what they just did to us. Went back to the corner. It's good, good shot. All right, time to wake up. Time to do the thing what I gotta do. See, now when delusional motherfuckers speak, man, all you gotta do is just listen sometimes. You know, his son just admitted in front of the whole world that he was hurt. It's time to wake up and do what he gotta do. But his father over there trying to tell him and shit like, ah, oh, you know, <laughs> He wasn't hurt. He tripped. Blah, blah, blah. Man, shut the fuck up. So that man, it was a, it is what it is. It's boxing. But you know what, man? I know what it is. I know how these people work. Referee knew I won tonight. Everybody won, knew I won tonight. And I'm just thankful. Did you believe this was a close fight going into those last two rounds? No, I don't. I don't believe it was a close fight at all. I believe that at the end of it all, I scored, I scored 11-2. Well, 11, uh, 10-2. You're so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. So we're just gonna keep on living and and, 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 and and do big fights and selling out arenas like we did to, tonight, you know, and we sold out the Madison we sold out the Madison Square Garden on you know on vaccination time, you know what I'm saying? When you gotta you gotta be vaccinated to get inside. 70% of the United States is vax, so what the fuck are you talking about, you goddamn idiot? Just shut the fuck up. Stupid. You dumb nigga. So, um, at the end of the night, the whole arena was upset at what happened, you know, and um, and I don't I don't blame myself for nothing. Big boxing, y'all. Y'all seen what happened to Tristina Lopez. Y'all seen what happened to Lomachenko. He ran flat when he fought Tristina. Tristina caught him on a bad day. Tristina goes and tells the story. I'm the this and I'm that. And the public says, Ch -ch 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 -ch. yay, yay, yay. Tracina faces a foe, a gallant foe from Australia. Great guy, by the fact. I love you, Gambosa. The Gambosa family, we love you. Congratulations. Great class people, but he's going to get beat up too. <laughs> now, let me finish. Went into the ring, clumsy, sloppy, fathers are drunk, very obnoxious. He said, oh, what are you going to do after the fight? This is after the Gambosa put their put sauce on him. Oh, okay. I'm going to spend time with my son. I haven't spent time with him in a long time. He was just born 11 days ago. <laughs> Get him, priest. Yo, I swear to God. Reaper gang, did I not just say that on the live? He talking about he, he been away from his son for a long time. The boy was just born 11 days ago. Cut the cat. The nigga got his ass whooped. It went a little something like this. Hold up. A few moments later. Tape for the Adrian Broner. The whole hood know I... The whole hood know I beat that boy. Everybody in MSG know I beat that boy. A fighter. 
but I won tonight, man. Everybody know that. The referee raised my hand. I won tonight. I don't care what anybody says, yo. I won tonight. We hey, again. at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I've been here. I've done that. I want to thank God. I want to thank everybody that came out tonight. Look, I ain't no sore loser. I take my wins like I take my losses. At the end of the day, man, I'm a true champion. I came out here. I did what I had to do. And I went out there and I did what, my best. Yo, I don't care what anybody says, man. I am as real as they come. And watch, this is the takeover, man. We don't stop. We keep coming. Yo, at the end of the day, man, I love you all. I won this fight. Everybody in here know I beat him. I beat that boy 10 too. You know, I just want to get back to my son. <laughs> this nigga. This nigga said, I've been away. He said, man, I, I just want to get back to my son being a family man. I've been away from my son a long time. This nigga said 11 days. I believe this was a close fight going into those last two rounds. No, I don't. I don't believe it was a close fight at all. Bruh. Quit telling them lies. Quit telling them lies. You ain't shit. I believe that. Expose him. Expose him. I scored, I scored 11 2. Well, 11 uh, 10 2. What? What the fuck? Quit telling them lies. Quit telling them lies. <laughs> this nigga Cam Bose has been away from Australia for a whole year. This nigga just had a newborn baby. He don't even know what the fuck it feel like to miss his son yet. That shit don't, man, look, I'm a father. And yes, you do love your kids as soon as they come out. But in 11 days, you don't have that connection to where you missing them every fucking second of the day. 11 days in, men, like women go through a phase of nesting, men go through a phase of when they just have a baby, like, yo, I got to get out here and get this money. Shit become hella real, especially when it comes to your first one. So all of that, I'm missing my, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yo, you you acting like you you missing so much off of like, like 11 days of sacrifice, motherfucker. You looking at a nigga who just upset you, who bent off his soil for a whole year, you stupid motherfucker, and just motherfucking put Real sacrifice, real blood, sweat, and tears. And what the fuck is you talking? Like, dog, that's how I know he ain't real because he don't even know the shit he's saying out his mouth and how dumb it sounds. Anybody who a father didn't know that. Yeah, you love your kids. When you first had that little motherfucker, you out that junk. You dash cam busy. You trying to take care of home. He talk, 11, kid 11 days old, and this motherfucker act like he just been out the loop on life. Nigga, you been able to fuck your bitch, go to the motherfucking training camp, talk shit to Devin Haney, carry around motherfucking your belts, the motherfucking uh, Canelo motherfucking undisputed fight. Like, <laughs> you been doing the, <laughs> you been doing the fucking most. The most. You act like you, you act like you been hampered on time. Didn't this nigga show up? With fucking three belts and a phony to Canelo fight, you got time to package up four belts, ride out, catch up with Canelo doing, argue with Devin Haney, shoot 80 million interviews, argue on a snap, bro. Get the fuck out of here, man. You are really gone, for real. What was he hit with? Firefight with his opponent. Bigger uppercut. Gambosa, you know, so sometimes you talk too much and cash the check that your ass can't cash, you know what I mean? But Lord Devin Haney will pass any task. For the diagnosis to be made, auditory and visual hallucinations cannot be prominent, though olfactory or tactile hallucinations related to the content of the delusion may be present. To be diagnosed with a delusional disorder, the delusion S cannot be due to the effects of a drug, medication, or general medical condition. And delusional disorder cannot be diagnosed in an individual previously properly diagnosed with schizophrenia. A person with delusional disorder may be high functioning in daily life. Recent and comprehensive meta-analyses of scientific studies point to an association between a deterioration in aspects of IQ and psychotic patients, in particular perceptual reasoning. According to German psychiatrist Emil Krepelin, Patients with delusional disorder remain coherent, sensible and reasonable. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders DSM, defines six subtypes of the disorder characterized as erotomenic, believes that someone is in love with them, grandiose, believes that they are the greatest, strongest, fastest, richest, 
and or most intelligent person ever. No matter how a loss comes, once it's read out and it's official, and your son comes back to the corner, what's the first thing you say to him? It doesn't matter what I'm going to say to him. I think he did a great job tonight. What? What the fuck? Um, every round I was happy. I was motivating him. And, 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 and I would go inside. I would say, yo, you got that one. You got that one. You got that one. It was like, to me, he won unanimous. But you can put it at 10-2. Nine three, you know, because of the knockdown. What you? I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. And 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 he just he just slipped. It was like a, it was like a flash knockdown. You know what I'm saying? A few moments later. Bosas has eaten four right hands and still up on his feet. Uh, his instinct is to get into a firefight with his opponent. With his uh, his opponent. Oh! But um, there's no way this kid beat us, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to move on to better things, better, bigger fights, you know. And this is not going to stain my son. It's going to stain him because now we can't say we're better than Floyd Mayweather because now Floyd is going to say we got that, you know what I'm saying? We got that loss. And then um, oh! I cannot believe it. Oh! 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 What a right hand! Hey, listen, fight fans, at the end of the day, you know, delusions can be a man's worst nightmare. And unfortunately, junior and senior, they love it. They love the delusions. They just inhaling all of the delusional smoke. But when it comes down to it, when they watch their fight back, man, that shit gonna give them cold sweats and it's gonna be hard for them to lay down and have a good night's rest of the night. Shout out to George Cambosis, the new unified champion. Not undisputed like these delusional pricks were running around saying. Um, and man, boxing has a good way of shutting the mouths of the stupid. Hey, I guess you'll work harder next time, won't you? Or will you? As we always say at the end of this. I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. It costs you nothing to pay this goofy ass dude and this delusional ass drunk pops no mind. Respect.